there are so many beautiful beaches around our coast that we can all take advantage of. Now I'd call myself an enthusiastic amateur when it comes to paddle boarding, so what advice would you give me and others like me who want to get out on the water? When going out onto the water, make sure you have the right equipment, such as a personal flotation device and a means of calling for help, such as a mobile phone in a waterproof pouch, so you can call 999 for the Coast Guard in an emergency. If you're going paddle boarding, make sure you also have an appropriate leash. And before you head out, always check the weather forecast. The Met Office website has five-day forecasts for over 200 beach locations. Obviously that's going to give you the weather forecast at those locations, but also other things like uh, temperature and particularly how that's going to feel with the wind chill. Don't forget to check the weather again just before you head out. The Met Office app has the very latest wind information on it and of course there's always more on the notice boards outside the lifeguard huts. Absolutely and remember if in doubt don't go out. Now one thing I do know as a meteorologist is that the sea takes a lot longer to warm up than the land and it's always pretty chilly in the sea around the UK no matter what time of year but especially cold in March and April that's when the temperature of the water is at its lowest. Yes you're right when you immerse yourself in cold water it can take your breath away. It's really important that you relax, don't panic and float on your back if you need to. Another important thing to understand is how the wind and the tide can affect you. Okay, I'm a bit more of an expert when it comes to weather. If you've got the Met Office app and look at the winds, then it gives you the speed and the gusts, but perhaps most crucially, the wind direction. Now, I know winds can be a little bit confusing, so when we name a wind, uh, we talk about the direction that wind has come from. So when weather presenters talk about an easterly wind, it's coming from the east but the arrow points to the direction that wind is going in. Now that's really important if you're considering going out on a paddleboard or a kayak because we need to uh, avoid offshore winds. An offshore wind is where the wind is blowing from the land out to sea and they can be really dangerous. Yes, avoid offshore winds altogether. It can quickly blow you out to sea, be really difficult to paddle against, making it hard to get back to the beach. You can also pick up clues from what you can see on the beach. So the flags can tell you which direction the wind is blowing and the red and yellow flags show the safest place to swim and bodyboard. And of course the weather can change really quickly. Suddenly the gusts can pick up and that can be really tiring if you're out on a paddleboard. And of course then there's sea breezes, local winds that pick up and also die down really quickly. They're created by the difference in temperature between the land and the sea. And of course, people often get caught out by the tides. The tides are the bodily moving of water up and down, created by the interaction of the earth, the sun and the moon. They're quite easy to predict, unlike the weather, but of course they do change every day. So make sure you stay up to date with what the tide's doing on the day you're at the beach. The tidal current can be strong and difficult to paddle against. It's worthwhile checking which direction the tide is going in, in relation to where you're going. Uh, that's whether it's coming in or going out. So for instance today, right now the tide is falling, so it'll be easier to paddle in this direction because you're going to have the current behind you than it is paddling into the current. It's much more fun to go out on the water with someone else and this can also help if you get into difficulty. If you download the Met Office weather app, check the RNLI website for lifeguarded beaches and follow this advice, you can spend a relaxing time at the coast and have a lot of fun on our beautiful beaches.